The setup of the digicoil is centered around the thickness of our book to be bound. We can use the built-in staging shelf gauge to measure the thickness of the book. As we can see, this book measures 12 millimeters on the gauge, therefore we'll set up the digicoil to run the 12 millimeter size. The first step is to change the spine formers. To gain access, you press the start, then spine formers open button. Open the spine former access door. To remove the three spine formers presently in the digicoil, loosen the individual thumb screws. Tilt to the side and remove. Simply select the spine formers required for your book from the storage compartment. We will select the 12 millimeter size. To install the spine formers, use the reverse procedure. Tilt the spine former, position the cutout of the former over the bar, and tighten the thumb screw. Place the book over the chart to determine the position of the center spine former. Next, we will position the center spine former assembly. There are three positions available. In this case, we'll use the furthest position from the operator. Close the spine former access cover. Press start to close the spine formers. Adjust the cut crimp height to 12 millimeters, the thickness of our book. Next we will adjust the cut crimp section for the size of our book. Place a sheet of paper against the side guide in the cut crimp section. You will notice a red line on each of the white Delron knife adjusters. Position the red line to the edge of the paper by using the knife adjusting knobs. We can see the red lines are now aligned with the edges of the paper. Next we will adjust the paper edge guide using the edge guide adjusting knob. Adjust the document stop so the holes in the sheet are unobstructed by the fingers of the platen. Place the coil on the coil drive and feed the coil into the paper manually. We want to ensure the coil feeds into the holes of the sheet cleanly, unobstructed by the fingers of the platen. As we can see, it does, therefore we're ready to continue to the next step. Next we will test the entire book in the digicoil. Place the book on the operator's right. Place the magnetic stopper on the edge of the book as shown. This stops the paper from skewing when the coil is inserted into the book. Next place the appropriate coil on the coil drive. At this point check to be sure all the holes in the paper line up. There should be no obstructions from either the platen fingers or the top coil guide. Press the start button on the digicoil. The machine will initialize. The display will read, ready, press foot switch. By depressing the foot switch the digicoil will automatically insert the coil into the book and release the entire book into the cut crimp section where the coil will be cut and crimped. By stepping on the foot pedal again the book will be ejected from the digicoil and ready for inspection. Inspect the cut and crimp on both ends of the book. If you're satisfied, the setup is complete.